Welcome and welcome back to Scorpio Tigers Tarot. I'm Scorpio Tiger. I'm here to do the weekly reading for the sign of Virgo. I hope everyone is doing well and had a beautiful weekend with your family and friends. We were under the moon influence of uh, Scorpio all three days this weekend. So the Scorpio moon influenced us to have deep, meaningful conversations. We really ain't got no time for no small talk. So this had to be an interesting weekend for everyone um, that was out socializing. Um, now we're in the moon of Sagittarius, which is an optimistic moon. Everything could be going wrong and we still be like, hey, like a water off a duck's back. Okay. So yeah, this is a general weekly re reading. So take what resonates, leave the rest. And you already know what to do. If love shows up, reverse the roles as needed, Virgos. Okay. Let me tell you what was happening when I was shuffling this deck. <laughs> this song started playing in my head and I don't know what it's about, but um, it's Guy. I think that's Guy. Um... If you take your love away from me, I'll go crazy, I'll go insane. Do 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 I don't know the name of that song, but that started playing in my head while I was doing you guys pre-shuffle. Pre Let's get into this. The overall energy for the week is the world, okay? Scorpio energy, all right? Universe all over this. What's going on with Virgos this week? I'll go insane. What's going on with the Virgos? Thank you. All right. Nine of Wands. Standing in your power. Strategizing. Putting together a plan. What's going on with the Virgos this week of April the 9th through the 14th, 2023, or whenever they are guided to watch this video? Thank you, Father. What else? What we got going on for the Virgos? We got the two pentacles. More Scorpio energy here. What's going on with the Virgos? The sun. Absolutely wonderful. Good stuff. Leo energy. And the eight of wands. The messages are going to be coming in. Okay. Let's see. What's at the bottom of the deck? The queen of cups. I think that's our ancestors, but that is a loving energy. Loving on yourself. Okay. And your ancestors might be watching over you. I'm sure they are. Nine of Wands. Why is this here? Thank you. Why is the Nine of Wands here for Virgos? Thank you. You're standing in your power against some sort of narcissist. With the King of, with the king of Swords. Oh my goodness gracious. What's really going on? The Two of Pentacles. Uh, maybe they was cheating. Maybe they was at the uh, functions this weekend. Okay. Two of Pentacles, why is this here? For the Virgo Collective. That's up, right? Because they mean a chest. Okay, you're, you're, you're juggling with the idea of ending some sort of relationship and moving forward. That's what you're thinking about. Yeah. You're thinking about ending a relationship. Oh, my the the sun why is this little energy here why is the ace of cups in reverse the ace of cups upright talks about um love overflowing abundance and money and everything how is it? It's talking about new beginnings and all that. <sighs> the first thing to pop up is divorce, y'all. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, false heart and sadness. Instability, revolution, bad news. Give us more, please. May have a hard time finding love. Give us more, please. Holding on to past relationships and not opening your heart. Give us more. Thank you. This Scorpio energy is thick, Virgo, in your reading today. The happiness is in you getting um, breaking up. So you are dealing with a narcissist and you're just done. You're juggling with the idea of running away and getting a divorce. You believe that your, your happiness is in this divorce and you're thinking about walking away. Putting an end to it and going towards your happiness. 
Yeah, walking away so that you can have your contentment. It's got to be hard living with a narcissist because they're so mean. Mean and controlling and they belittle you all the time. Eight of Wands. At least that's what I've read. I don't know nothing about it, thank God. Eight of Wands. Why is this here? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Yeah, but your new love is coming in. It sure is. You're going to have your emotional satisfaction. You're going to receive some sort of messages, some sort of messages, some sort of offers or something like that. It's going to give you your total emotional satisfaction. Good stuff, Virgo. Your weekend is going to end great. Yeah, go on to go down a new path so that you can have your contentment. I love it. Good stuff. Anything else? Thank you. Yeah. Finish what you started. Somebody wants to finish what y'all started with that chariot in reverse like that because they don't want to move forward. Oh, goodness gracious. But you want to be single. I think that is upright because I hit me in the chest. Everything is fine. Yeah, you, you want to be single and everything's going to be fine. That page of cups is a, a card of business. Someone could be making you an offer. It's not a, a big offer. That fish also could be lucky. Okay. Yeah, you're going to put an end to this. Yeah. Luckily, you... <laughs> yeah, look. Luckily, you're going to find... You're going to get a mate that's going to come in that's going to be balanced and loving, respectful, honoring and adoring you. Good stuff, Virgo. As soon as you get a divorce from this energy here, absolutely wonderful. Focus on what it is that you want and put the work to get out of it. Put the work in to, put, to get out of it, okay? Oh. Yeah, it's time to focus on your on your uh, goals and walk away. Mm -hmm. Focus on your goals. You might be a little lonely. You might, might be a little lonely. It be like that sometimes. But that's all right. It's like the caterpillar and the butterfly. When you alone, that's the time that you are growing your wings. Okay? Becoming a brand new you. Elevating to the person you're supposed to be. Okay? Growth happens in solitude. Anything else? Well, no cards coming out, so I must have been I, I must have been um, supposed to tell y'all that. <laughs> yeah. It's the butterfly. You're growing into your butterfly. And while you're doing that, you're going to... You might feel lonely. It's a lonely space. But just stay in prayer, Virgo, as you go through this process. Because you're going to have happiness. It's coming. After you get this divorce, this divorce is going to bring you... This divorce is going to bring you happiness. Yes, it is. Okay. All right. Yeah. Just walk away. Can't make these cards up. All right. Advice for the Virgo Collective. All right. Romance. Angels deck. Anything for the Virgo Collective? Anything. Thank you. Thank you, Carla. Mm-hmm. Pay attention to the red flags, okay? The signs are cautioning you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it may be time for you to move. Make your move. Anything for the Virgo Collective regarding this spread? Let's go around one more time. For the Virgo Collective. Thank you. E3 Chords, Erzuli Danter. Yeah, you need to cut the ties with the with the uh, narcissist. That's what this card is telling you. Mm -hmm. Make your move. Be careful if they're a violent individual. Be careful, Virgo. Anything else for the Virgo Collective? Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. It's up to you. It's all up to you. If you want to be happy and content and get out of this abusive relationship. <laughs> yeah. Helpful people. Yeah. People are going to be there to help you. There's also some numbers or something down in, in my um, description box for people who uh, just want to talk to somebody anonymously just to get some things off your chest. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay. Big happy changes. Yeah. Big happy changes are going to happen once you get out of this. It's going to be change is hard. Change is hard. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. So, be careful with that because we're not going to forget that in my in a priest shuffle, I was hearing that song, if you take your love away from me, I'll go crazy. So, please proceed with caution. Be safe. Take care of yourself, Virgo. Uh, let's get this. Let's uh, something just like any messages for the Virgo from this deck. Someone kept telling me to grab it. So now. It was like this deck was saying, don't forget about me. Don't forget about me. <laughs> uh, you're controlling. Control is uh, stemmed from fear. Release what you cannot control. You got to release what you cannot control. I think that's for the cross watcher. But you know, this is about love. So reverse roles as needed, okay? You guys take care and, and good luck with this whole situation. It's going to work out um, for the best for you. Just be careful. You know who you're dealing with. All right? Take care of Virgo. I'll talk to you guys soon.